this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Things are exciting at the moment. In the last episode, I got my paraglider, and well, let me show you on the, the map. I spent the entire last episode inside of this area here. Pretty big, eh? Quite a lot of places to explore. But when you consider it compared to how big the entire map is, yeah, the the world has opened up. It's almost like I've only just started the, the game now. But the first place uh, I need to, to head to uh, is Kariko Village. And it's over in this direction. It's um this thing here. And I'm going to go to this tower. I ended the last episode heading, uh, heading for a tower over here. Which I realized was a stupid idea because I want to, to fill in this section of the, the map first. So uh, yeah, I'm going to head to this tower, fill in the, the map, and then head down to the, the village. Uh, on the way over here though, I did find this tower and I climbed up and there was a, a chest. So, uh, first, let's get this. Oh, I got a sapphire! No, I had one of these before. A precious blue gem mined from natural rock formations. Sapphires contain the very essence of ice. They have been known to fetch a high price since ancient times. Okay, maybe I could sell it or make some sort of ice arrows out of it. Uh, yeah, we can find out. But the, the exciting thing is, is I can now do this! Oh, no! <laughs> that was a lot of bats that suddenly appeared out of nowhere. I have a paraglider and it makes uh, getting around a lot easier and a lot more fun as well. Oh look, are they all sleeping? I think they're all bow goblins all down there, and I think they're all asleep because it's nighttime. That's cool because there are more enemies that come out at nighttime, but I guess the uh, the daytime ones all fall asleep, which is uh, very handy because it's going to make it uh, even easier for me to, to go and cross them. All right then, uh, Proxim Bridge. It looks relatively safe, but what? What is that? Oh, there's there's someone there. There's someone there's someone just chilling out on the bridge, looking in the the distance. Are they friendly? The only friendly person I've really run into so far is the uh, the old man who turned out to, to be the king. Of course, spoiler alert, too late. <laughs> so hopefully hopefully this person's going to to be friendly. Um, well they're not attacking me. In fact, they're completely ignoring me. Hello, hello, hello there. I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that well. Let's just say this is better than most. We're doomed! I mean, don't panic! Sorry, who are you? Have we met? Well, doesn't matter who you are. Really? I was getting tired of talking to myself. So, you've come at a good time. By the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground. Did you see them? I'm not talking about mushrooms here. I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped up all over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that's happening. Those long deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. You know what this means, don't you? The end! The end is here! With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving, you know? Uh, good idea. Uh, good just say goodbye. Goodbye, crazy man on the bridge. What thing? I'm talking about that guardian, of course. Haven't you heard the old stories about Hyrule? See that thing over there? The one shaped like an overturned urn? That is what I'm talking about. Did you know that some of them can move? One of them once chased me down and tried to kill me. Uh, this one here? No, it was a different one. That one was closer to the castle, but before the forest. Then they spot you. They shoot blue beams of light at you. Man, I was so sure it was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst. But somehow, I managed to escape into the nearby woods. Do you think it was my lightning fast reflexes that saved me? Uh, reflexes that saved me? Ha! I wish. Truth is, I got lucky. Anyway, I hear guardians like that can still wander around Hyrule Castle. You better be careful. Okay, thank you very much, Brico. It's funny because all of this stuff that he's he's talking about is all is all because of me, basically. <laughs> it's all it's all things that that I've I've done. Like I activated the towers, I activated the the shrines. It's all it's all my fault, basically. And don't worry, I realise I'm heading in the direction that I just came from. But I didn't see this shrine here. I kind of I kind of glided straight over it, and I'm sure it was in the corner of my eye, and you noticed it, but I didn't. So I'm not going to do the shrine now. I really wanted to get to the the village. But hello, guys. Right, let's take out uh, these fellas. Oh, I think I think I knocked its head off. Can I knock it? Can I, can I, can I pick up its head? I can pick up its head. <laughs> oh look, his body's look. Oh look, his body's all coming back together. He's trying to find his head. <laughs> I've stole your head. I've stole your head. Do you reckon I can throw the head at it and kill it with its own head? Oh, I kicked it. I, I dropped it. I kicked it. Oh no, he's picked it back up again. Right. I don't know. I think my sword broke. Did my sword break? Oh yes, my sword broke. Okay. Let's uh, let's stop toying with them and let's uh, <laughs> actually go after them. I don't really have many good melee weapons left. Uh, to be honest, I got the the sledgehammer. 
Um, and I got the axe as well. Let's go and use the, the, the axe then, shall we? And uh, yeah, I want her to try and find some more swords if I can. Let's uh, take out the, the, the head this time. I've definitely uh, learned my lesson. And there we go. Uh, that's him uh, completely taken out. So uh, all I'm doing here, and oh, let's, uh, let's grab this thing, a boko bat uh, as well. Uh, yeah, all I'm trying to, to do here is activate the, the shrine, because once you have activated them, it allows you to, to use them as basically a, a teleportation point. So it means that later on, when I want to go back and actually do want to, to do the shrine, I can just go and whiz straight back then. I don't need to, to worry uh, running over the, the bridge. And oh, look, there's a party. There's a little Bokoblin dance party down there. Did you see them all just going crazy? <laughs> Let's go and get a better look. Let's not get too close. But look, you can see them all just dancing up and down like crazy by the, the water. Those ones definitely aren't sleeping and all there is there is a chest there so it will be worth going back there a little bit later on uh, but for now uh, let's go and uh, try and get to that the the tower then that's the uh, the number one uh, priority for for right now because i feel like once i've got to the tower then then that way i got the map filled in and i can kind of properly just work my way around wherever i want to go and actually it might be a good idea to to sit here until morning just to, to make it daytime and then that means i'm not going to be getting attacked by those skeletons that was good fun stealing its head though and just running around with it <laughs> I, I did enjoy that i don't know if that's an effective way to to fight them but but without their head they didn't really seem to do anything so i don't know maybe i did when toying around just accidentally come up with a, a really effective way to to battle them right then there's a big open area here there's a camp there it seems to it seems to be deserted though it looks like they they left their their food cooking i'm worried that the the enemies just haven't loaded in oh no it's not deserted <laughs> that's that's what i was worried about the enemies were there they just hadn't loaded in right let's let's go after them because i wanted to try and get some some more weapons anyway and they're right on my way so uh we'll use the 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 bat for for now i'm sure it's going to break pretty soon anyway uh, and uh right let's uh Let's head uh, head in there, shall we? So we should probably try and take up the the, the fella on the the tower first. If I can uh, sneak up close and get a good headshot, I might be able to take it out in one hit. It has seen me though. That's uh that's what's roaring me. If I can poke out and get it, and oh no, I didn't take it out in one hit. It's going to do the horn. Okay, I got to stop it from doing the horn. If I can keep hitting it, I might be able to. Ooh. Oh no, it just about got the, the the horn off. But look at this. There's some of these heavy boxes here. If we can try and grab these. Oh no, oh they've, they've found me. They have found me, right. I might be able to, to get them with these these heavy boxes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I was able to, to whack it into them. They're really kind of chasing after me though. If I can kind of drop it on their, their heads, then that would be a really fun way to, to try and take them out. Let's try and uh, back off a little bit and go and grab this again. There we go, lift it up. And maybe just drop it down like that. There we go. Oh, no. I wasn't able to, to take him out. I think I hit him with that, though. There are loads more metal boxes over here, though. Maybe if I can just swing it around really fast. You can't move it particularly quickly, though. That's kind of the, the difficulty. You can kind of swing it around a bit, but not really fast. So maybe maybe we should just go in with the, the, the old bat and try and take them out that way. Oh, I was able to, to smash open the, the box with one swing from this bat. It must be, must be pretty powerful. And there we go. I sent that guy absolutely flying over there. And has he just gone back to dancing again? I think he's like forgot about me and gone straight back to dancing. Right, let's try and drop this box on his head then while he's dancing. Oh no, he found me. That's no fun. Right, let's see if I can get him. I really want to, to get him. I got to time this perfectly though and not even close. Right, let's just go and try and attack him, shall we? <laughs> there we go. I sent him flying. The, the bat is damaged though. Let's try and throw the bat at him. There we go. That did some pretty nice damage. And look, I was, oh no, yeah, look I was. I was able to grab his bat. I stole his bat. No, he doesn't have a bat anymore. I knocked him over, grabbed his bat, and now he doesn't have one. Oh, no, he can still hit me though. So let's just go and finish him off with his own bat. <laughs> that was awesome. That was cool. I need to get better at using those, those metal boxes though, because if I could end up just dropping it on people and taking them out that way, that would not only be a really fun way to, to take them out but also pretty effective like if i could get good at that then that could work really well and save me having to destroy all of my weapons speaking of weapons hopefully i get one. Oh, i want to get a good sword i want to get another good sword somewhere i don't like using these these giant bats uh, or things it'd be good to, to find something better around here somewhere and they don't last long look they only they only take a few hits then they get absolutely destroyed don't they but let's let's break these open anyway and just see if there's uh, anything good inside that's the end of the the bat i got some apples and some arrows though and i guess i can just use a um 
uh, a bomb uh, to, to go and blow these up. Let's just go and uh, and do that. And oh, I only blew one of them up. Uh, any goodies? Another apple. Uh, some more arrows. Getting more arrows uh, is good because I run out of them really fast. And look, even more arrows over here. This is good. This means that I can I can focus on using my my arrows uh, rather than uh, than using my melee weapon. Seeing as I don't have uh, anything particularly good right now. So let's just have the the uh, the woodcutter's axe for for now. And we'll go and grab a uh, another apple because why not? Apples are very tasty. Right then. I keep getting um <laughs> I keep getting distracted, don't I? I'm supposed to be heading to this tower and I keep kind of going off in random different directions and where where has the tower gone it's supposed to be somewhere nearby and this this is quite a lot of water here actually I can't swim for very long my stamina uh, isn't very high so I'm a little bit worried about trying to to swim across here then again I do have food that I can eat which should help me out so let's let's give this a go then shall we let's try and get uh, to the point where I'm swimming the the least and let's see for how far I'm able to, to make it I won't try and swim quicker so I think that might make my stamina go down faster then again I am kind of fighting the the current so maybe it will be a good idea and I might just be about able to make it from one side to the the other this water's really pushing me in the the other direction though uh come on if the frogs can swim across here then i should be able to there we go one more big dash and i've made it across to the the other side i don't know what i was worried about and oh what is this oh there's all these little like dragonflies and things around here i reckon i can capture them it seems like any animal or kind of anything you run into uh, you are able to to either hunt or or pick up or or do something with there's not there's not much in the game which has no use you know pretty much everything like even the grass you can set on fire and attack enemies that way. No, oh, look, what's this? Is that like a goat? I think there's a giant goat roaming around over there. Not seeing one of them before. Uh, this is a really pretty area, to be honest. Look at these giant green fields. Like, if you don't see, like, any of the, um, like, the, the horrible stuff in the background, like the, um, you know, the, the castle with Ganon around it, or, like, the big volcano, it would be a really pretty place to, to live. <laughs> and oh, look, there's another one of those boats there. I found one of them before. But I didn't really know what to, to do with it. I reckon later on, maybe I'm going to be able to, uh, to, to actually sell properly. Uh, but at the moment, I didn't really know how to, to use it. Looks like there's some, some more opocoblums around here. And oh, there's a chest right here. I might be able to, to just sneak in and grab the, the chest without that fellow seeing me. And we got a one of those leaf things. I haven't really, um, haven't really used those leaves very much. Let's see if we can sneak up on this person. So if you sneak up on them and are able to, to hit them, uh, oh no! Oh, they heard me! I, I didn't know how, how far away they were going to be able to, to hear me from, and I guess um, <laughs> I guess that gave me a bit of a clue. And who else is here? Is it, Oh look, they're in there! Okay, okay, this is a good chance. I might be able to, to blow them all up uh, with all of them... Um, uh, yeah, next to all of those barrels. If I can go and try and shoot that there. There we go! That did a, a huge explosion. And seeing as I'm high up, I could probably jump. And look at this! I can do a slow-mo attack. Ah, oh, that is so cool. And another one. There we go. That was two headshots. And that got him down. And now I should be able to send him flying with uh, with this. There we go. That worked out uh, pretty well there. There are a lot of them around here, though. Let's maybe try and, uh, and get this one with a, a bomb if we can. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so I've noticed the bombs don't do a, a huge amount of damage but they just send enemies flying so it's just a good way to, to kind of get rid of them like when they're all chasing you like this and whoa they sent me flying and oh I, I drowned I think I did I drown it took me down to like half a heart and then I died oh no <laughs> isn't that embarrassing it was just a few of those boat goblins and I just got I got a little bit too excited I need to get that better sword I need to stop getting sidetracked I said I'm gonna go to the tower and go to Kakariko village and I've done neither of those two activities so far right it looks like oh this I'm right here this this is where I died isn't it are they are they gone are the goblins gone I think the goblins might be gone. Oh no, wait, look inside. The goblins, the goblins are not gone. They are definitely not gone. They are though, surrounded by all of those, those barrels. And oh, look up there. There's this one just chilling out on the, the, the rocks up there as well. Right, let's go and try this again then. Oh no, no, I didn't mean to, to do that. Let's go and try this out again. And let's see if we can uh, get them all. Uh, seeing as they're, they're all surrounded by those barrels. Because they haven't seen me this time. So I have the, the, the advantage. So let's just go and fight straight. And there we go. That did loads of damage because I hit them with the, the bomb arrow. And then all of the, the explosions went off. So I think it's only this uh, this stronger blue one left. And there we go. That was him finished off. That's the way I should have done it the first time. And look, I think there's a sword here as well. That was uh, probably worth it uh, after all of that. The, the, the soldier swords, they're really good. Uh, so let's... um. 
Let's go and drop something that I don't need and go and pick that up. So I've got a few torches. I won't need this many torches. And let's go and drop the, the spear. And let's drop one of these leaves. I'm sure those leaves are going to come in handy at some point. Um, but I haven't I haven't fully worked out what all of their uses are. But instead, let's go and use this uh, this soldier's broadsword. Because these last quite as well, as, uh, quite long as well. The, the last one uh, I got, I had for a, a decent while. So it's definitely good to, to grab that. Uh, but this is where I'm heading to. I'm heading to that to that tower. And hello! <laughs> Jumping out and firing things at me i wonder if i can um i wonder if i can hit it with an arrow if that's an option because yeah yeah there we go i was able to, to take it out because i've battled those in the the past in past zelda games and the the way to defeat them has been to um to, to kind of bounce back their projectile and uh, and uh, take them out that way so if you hold your shield up you can bounce it back and then uh take them out that way and there's loads of fish around here i think you can actually just get the the fish without shooting them but we just like pressing A on them and picking them up. And oh, I found a sneaky river snail. Why is it so sneaky? This large glow-in-the-dark snail lives in fresh water. When cooked uh, into a dish, uh, it heightens your senses so you can move around silently. Okay, it's another another stealthy thing. That's going to, to be handy to, to have. All right, let's go and freeze out uh, this here. And I want to go and uh, I want to go and grab these things. Uh, Octo balloon. Uh, this inflate, uh, inflatable uh, Octo rock organ uh, has a lot of lift. So attach it to items you want to see float. Hold it in your hand and then place it on an object to attach it. Okay, so I can just attach it to things and then they're going to, to float up. That sounds that sounds like that might be a lot of fun. I feel like I could annoy a lot of th things by just, I don't know, like grabbing their things and just sending them up into the, the air might be quite good fun. Anyway, I'm doing this because I don't think I could swim this uh, this entire way. Uh, so I'm kind of doing this just for just for, for safety. I can kind of send these way off and woo! That was a very elegant dive, wasn't it? <laughs> and then this way, it doesn't really take much longer than swimming anyway. And it means that, uh, yeah, I don't need to, to worry about the, the risk uh, of drowning. So I can kind of send up all of this. I said, it's also just fun. It's just a, it's just cooler. Like every game you can go swimming in, but how many games can you make giant blocks of ice appear? Not too many come to, to mind. Right then, about the, the, the tower. Dueling Peaks Tower. This is only the, the second tower I've, uh, I've ever arrived at because, uh, yeah, I, I got the, the very, very first one kind of before I knew uh, what I was doing. So uh, apart from that, this is the, the first tower that I've kind of just stumbled across by myself. And I want to be uh, careful climbing up here because I still don't have very good... Um uh, very good stamina. I'm sure they wouldn't make it too difficult, seeing as it's kind of something that everyone needs to do. And this is this is probably the the second tower that most people head to. Like at this point in the game, I can go where I want. Like he's told me to to go to Kakariko Village, but I don't have to. Like the entire you know the world is my oyster, to use a cliche. You know I could go literally any direction that uh, that I want to, but I'd rather do like a few of the kind of the main quests and go in the the directions that it points me in, just to to kind of get a little bit more knowledge. Of about the the land and then once uh, i'm really uh, off on the the journey and going after after dungeons that's when i'm going to start looking in every nook and cranny and trying to to find the the secrets and explore everywhere like i bet there's loads of places in uh, the great plateau that i haven't even visited yet like i didn't even go to the 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 top of the the really big mountain so there's got to be something up there so uh, yeah i probably will at some point uh, go back and uh, explore those places so if you are leaving comments down below saying hey you missed this go do that don't worry i will be going off and uh, and doing more things like that in the, the future uh, but for now i just kind of want to to cover all of the the basic ground so right then that's the, the, the tower activated, so it's good, because it means I can teleport to this tower, and especially now I have my paraglider, it's going to be a good way to, to teleport to, to here, and then I can just paraglide in any direction uh, that I want, and also uh, it's going to, to fill the, the entire map in for me, so let's go and bring up the, the map screen now. And uh, we can have a, uh, a proper look around and uh, try and work out work out where the the, the points is, uh, the points of interest are, are going to, to be. Because at the moment, it's like a brand new mysterious land. But eventually, I'm going to know this place like the back of my hand. Like eventually, I'm just going to, you know, know my way around without having to, to use a map. But we are far uh, from, uh, from that point yet. So here we are. So we're probably about halfway between the, the the great plateau and where we're where we need to, to head to uh, what's this a uh, sheikah sensor the sensor reacts when you are close to shrines that you have not yet visited uh, if you head in the direction where the reaction is strongest you should be able to find the shrines uh, you can either enable or disable the sheikah sensor uh, with y on the map screen okay so I can use this to, to go and track down uh, all of the, the different shrines because most of them you think would be pretty obvious to, to find because 
you can like look from the the top of these towers and stuff and try and work them out that way but maybe some of them are, are more hidden so I guess that uh, another thing I need to do is look for shrines and apparently there is a, a shrine nearby to, to where I am right now I can hear it I can hear it ding a ling a linging there, <laughs> there must be one really close by I can't see where it is though I mean I guess that's that's why I might need this thing to be able to, to track it down am I being am I being completely blind not being able to, to see this shrine or or can you not see it as well? Maybe it's up here, somewhere up at the, the top. Oh, well, that's not my, my number one priority. Maybe it's just talking about the, the one that I went past earlier. Maybe it's talking about that one uh, all the, the way over there. Um, or there seems to be one down there uh, as well. So it looks like there's a, a few in a few different locations. But I am supposed to be heading in this direction, which is, um yeah, seems to be over a giant mountain. So I think the, the smartest way to, to head there will be to head down here and then head like around then that way because this is a really tall mountain the the dueling peaks uh, yeah it would be uh, really difficult for for me to, to climb uh, especially as I don't have a, a huge amount uh, of stamina so yeah I think that's the, the path I'm going to, to take I'm going to not worry uh, too much about the the other shrines for for now and uh, yeah head straight to the the village so uh, that's the end of this episode here I know I didn't get a, a huge amount gun but uh, a, hu a huge amount gun a huge amount done but I had good fun uh, trying to uh, to explore the the land and taking things out I was trying to mix fun and good so I just said gun. I could have said food as well, which would have been <laughs> another thing I could have accidentally said. But anyway, I am now rambling. That's the end of this episode here. There will be a link uh, in the description to the next episode where I may or may not, knowing me, uh, arrive at Kakariko Village. So yeah, uh, you can check that out as whenever you want. But for now, thanks for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!